Now that you've set up and installed GeoPoint and mapped some of your Salesforce objects, there are some powerful ways you can integrate Salesforce business processes right into GeoPoint. In this video, we'll show you how to set up actions and manage them for your users. These are actions that you can execute from the GeoPoint map, including places or any address or record, or from the mapped data table below the map. We'll also do a quick dive into the map button, which is a really handy tool built into GeoPoint that lets you jump to a record location on the map directly from the Salesforce record page. From GeoPoint setup, click the Actions tab. Here's a list of all of the pre-built actions that GeoPoint has to offer. Some of these actions involve specific GeoPoint features such as Add to Route and Navigate, which relate to the GeoPoint routing feature and check-in, which is used for the GeoPoint check-in functionality. Others involve standard Salesforce functionality, such as log a call, new task, and new event. So let's take a quick look at the check-in action. Click Edit next to the action. I want to make sure that the correct users have access to this action and that it's available in the right places. So I'm going to check Available Mobile because I want to make sure that they can access it in the field using their phone. I'm going to go ahead and check off map and place point types in addition to record and route stop. That way users have the freedom to check in at any of the four main point types. The four main point types are map, which is a custom location achieved by clicking or a long press on mobile, place, which is a Google Places search result using the search bar, record, any Salesforce record that you've added to the map, and route stop, a location that has been added to a route. In the S objects section, you can see that it's been allowed for all objects, but we can select which map objects it's available for by selecting the selected objects option. Now let's make sure that the proper users have access. Click the user access button, and this will open the Salesforce sharing settings screen. I'm going to add a group here that contains my field sales reps because they're the ones that are going to be using this action when they're in the field. As for that check-in action that we just edited and configured, it's available for all point types and I can see it here as my first option for a record that's on the map. Field sales reps can just click that check-in action and automatically log that they visited a location and that will be saved as a Salesforce record. Actions can be super powerful and versatile depending on how you configure them. You can create custom actions that would create records on the map. For instance, you could activate a create record action for leads for the place point type. Simply search for a keyword on the map, click a result and then click that create record action and it'll capture information uh, based on the field set that you configured for it and you can add that location right to Salesforce. Finally let's take a look at the map button, a pre-built feature in GeoPoint that allows you to basically integrate GeoPoint right into Salesforce record pages. So we're going to go to a standard Salesforce object and we're going to add it to our page layout. It should automatically be available for standard objects such as accounts, contacts, and leads. So here we are on the contact layout in the object manager from the mobile and lightning action section. I'm going to drag map to the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience actions. That way it'll work in Salesforce lightning. I'll save that layout. Let's navigate to a contact. And on this contact page, you can see that the map button is now available. When I click it, it will automatically load this contact address right to the GeoPoint map. And I can use this in a lot of ways. I can use this to conduct searches or analysis around that location, perhaps use it as the center of a nearby search, or conduct GeoPoint actions from it. If you want to set the map button for custom objects, it's not hard to do, but it just takes a couple extra steps. So if you need guidance on that, check out our Help Center on the process.